Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. The first video we covered the posture. In the second video we focused on the breath. And here in this third video we will be focusing on the mind. Meditation is a state of no mind. And that can be a difficult thing to achieve. We use our mind all the time when we are positioning our body and focusing in the five areas. We are using the mind when we are focusing on the breathing, counting our breaths. So the mind is a useful tool for meditation. And remember, concentration leads us to meditation. So we do want to learn and train the mind to concentrate. But to enter the realm of meditation, we need to let go of the conceptual mind. What happens when we sit is we are allowing the typical distractions in our lives to fall away. So we're focusing on our physical body first, sitting in a comfortable meditation posture. And then we can let go of the physical things in our lives. So we're closing our eyes. That also allows us to focus more internally. When we begin focusing on the breath, then we're starting to become aware of more of the subtle energies in and around the body. And when we get still enough, then we can really have a good look at our mind. And what Patanjali says is God is the witness of the mind. So ultimately, we want to be able to observe ourselves, our body, our breath, and our mind at all times. So it's possible as we progress in our practice to become more and more a witness to our mind. And meditation practice is a perfect way to cultivate this. So when the body is more still and the breath is more calm and quiet, then we can start to observe what is happening in the mind. So for most everyone, the mind is going to be quite busy. And that is fine. The first step is to just allow everything. If we repress or try to push anything aside, then we are just creating an environment for more activity in the mind. So we actually can think of the activity of the mind like the surface of a lake or the surface of the ocean. So typically, there's lots of activity. There's a lot of waves and movement on the surface. So how would you calm the surface? You wouldn't do anything at all. You would just let it become calm over time. So thoughts will arise. Let them arise. And then we can consciously notice that they're there and then just let them fall, let them go. Another visualization that can help is to think of the mind like the sky. So our natural state, our no mind state, is like the clear blue sky. It's always there, it's vast, and it's unbound. So if you can imagine our mind is like the clear blue sky, then the state of meditation is always there. But if we're focused on our thoughts and our distractions, then we can think of the sky having clouds. So we're focusing on the clouds instead of the space of the clear blue sky. When we practice meditation, we can rest or abide in the space of the clear blue sky. And as thoughts rise and fall, we can envision them like clouds passing by. Clouds are not permanent. So our thoughts, same thing. We don't need to try to control them. We don't need to try to stop them. We acknowledge that they're there. We can just witness that they're there and then just let the clouds 
pass by through the mind. And eventually the space in between the thoughts will start to increase. And the thoughts themselves will naturally begin to decrease. Now, some practice sessions, it'll be really easy to experience this, and in others, it will be challenging. So that is why we practice. And it's common to sit again for up to 30 minutes, even longer, but 30 minutes is a good benchmark for this practice. So right now, if you would like, you can close your eyes. And so we're in our meditation posture. We focus on the breath and then eventually let it go, feeling the breath more quiet and still. And then we can notice what's happening in the mind, witnessing our thoughts. If a thought arises, allow it and just let it go. So all phenomena that occur, we want to allow them to arise and allow them to pass. And if you find that you've become caught up in your thoughts, you start to focus more on the clouds, then just relax back into the space of the clear blue sky. Or if it helps you to envision it, just allow the surface of the lake or the ocean to become perfectly still. And again, we're using the structure so that our mind can concentrate on something. And then we let go of the structure, and just experience the state of meditation. When you feel complete with your meditation, you can open your eyes. And one common way to finish is to do what's called Gur Pranam. And this is a way to ground your energy and to circulate the energy in your body as well as the energy with the earth. In some meditations, you might be working with a teacher or a deity and this allows you to also continue receiving their guidance, their blessings. And what you do is you just sit in rock pose. Your hands are in prayer position and you rest your forehead on the floor. And here you feel that you're receiving energy through the hands, through the crown, and letting this energy circulate in the body. And after a few minutes, you can just come up. See if you can maintain the state of meditation as you get up and continue with your day. It is a very valuable practice to turn whatever it is you're doing in your day, whether it's cooking or cleaning, to see if you can turn it into a practice and cultivate the experience of meditation. Thank you very much for joining me for this series. We will see you in the next video.